always thought I wanted this kind of life. But I never imagined any of this. I'm having the time of my life. Honestly, I'm just coming to work and being myself and playing around. It's the greatest job ever. <laughs> like, I fell in love with the comic books and I fell in love with Kamala and the fact that, you know, she's not my little, you know, secret anymore is, is amazing and I can finally talk about the show is, is just a weight off my shoulders. And I'm so excited for the world to finally see, you know, the, the reason I fell in love with those comics and, and the character. The idea of Kamala Khan came around 2012, 2013. The entire point of it was to be able to create a character that not even just like look like me, but really was for a fan like me and for hopefully like my nephews and my nieces to create content for them. Kamala Khan is right alongside Peter Parker as, as a relatable kid who at the other end of that is thrust into a remarkably rich new mythology. She was just so captivating and fun. And she had problems that I had. She like had boy troubles and she, you know, had problems in school. Iron Man helped her with her physics homework. It was like she was a kid and it showed. And like, you know, growing up with little to no representation, I needed that. It was basically Marvel Comics saying, hey, you're not alone. Yeah, that, that whole year when I felt like in love with Miss Marvel, I dressed up as her. I went to the thrift store, I got like a blue dress. I, I did the whole thing. I went to school the next day. People were like, are you the Flash? Yeah. You want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Come on, you did amazing yeah. work. You've done amazing work. It would be honored if you would play uh, Kamala Khan for us in the Miss Marvel show. And it was unanimous decision. Oh my God. Perfect. Kevin Frank looks pretty right now. I can't comprehend this right now. I'm a superhero now, so that's normal. Another day in the Marvel Universe. Kamal Khan is this passionate, creative high school kid. She's going through all those awkward, cringeworthy moments. Family drama, boy trouble, school problems. Are you following? Yes, keep going. And also, she's like a huge fan, a huge fan. A big fan, such a fan. She is a fan of Captain Marvel. Iman Vellani, that girl is Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan discovers that she has the superpowers. She can manifest light. But being a superhero is not quite as simple. Kamala's biggest conflict is with herself. Maybe they're right. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. I wish that you would just focus on your story. You're Kamala Khan. You want to save the world? Then you're going to save the world. Do you even know what you are? I'm a superhero. <laughs> Despite her superpowers, she has a strong heart. It's not about who you look like, the clothes you wear. It's about what you do with what you've been given. I can't even put it into words how cold this is. It's, it's very, my heart is very full. Iman Vellani, what can I say? That girl is Kamala Khan, 110%. Feels like it's distance. Right, Iman, how do you feel? Really cool. Yeah, yeah. Superhero. Her story of Iman Vellani is the story of Kamala Khan. It's the story of a teenage girl that is a huge fan of, of the Avengers and would love to be one day maybe part of them, but don't really think that she's ever gonna be there. Are you guys a big Avengers yeah. fan? Yes. 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 She's way bigger <laughs> than me. She knows. She knows everything under the sun about Marvel and the Supers. I'm a big fan, but not as not as big as she is. What does it feel like? Cosmic. I think Kamala and I are pretty much the same person. Her getting her powers and me getting this part really went hand in hand, and I, I definitely went on a very similar journey of self-discovery with the character. You know, I, I definitely reconnected with my roots the way Kamala does by the end of episode six, and, and she really uses culture and religion, not as something that she neglects or is something that's dragging her down, but it's something that uplifts her. It, it motivates her, encourages her, encourages her story, and I think it's so admirable the way, you know, she's just so unapologetically herself.
Kamala Khan is a teenage girl growing up in Jersey City who is given the powers to become a part of this world that she's always wanted to be a part of. Superheroes, the Avengers, the kind of Marvel universe. I'm a superhero. Okay. Through the series you see, she learns the extent of her powers. She learns what is possible. Powers just got introduced. Despite what Kamala's superpowers are, she has a very strong heart and she's very steadfast in her values and, you know, in her beliefs and that's what drives her and that's what makes her such a great hero and that's the journey that we see her taking, just finding little bits and pieces of what make her so unique and separate from the rest of the Avengers. We're trying to stay professional, but it's really hard when you have all this fun stuff around It's you. so fun. <laughs> She was the first one I met in the cast. I mean, we were we were together for pre-production for a couple weeks, just us two rehearsing and and, and having fun and, and 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 not only like figuring ourselves out like as characters, but as friends. And 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 we got really close. And uh, all of those scenes you see with us, I mean, especially uh, well, I'm not gonna say, but a lot of the scenes you see with just us two is is completely authentic, and it's it's us not only bringing ourselves to the, the table with the scene, but also collaborating with our amazing directors, producers, and, and creators, and, and figuring out ways of how we can, can show that relationship or dynamic, I should say, of Bruno and Kamala better and, and the friendship, the true friendship they have. Miss Marvel, baby. This is my shot. Here on the set of Miss Marvel. Our actors can do everything. I feel exhilarated. I'm doing it. Trying to channel so much energy. We go from a dance sequence to a fight sequence in a matter of 24 hours. Oh, that was fun. There's so much chemistry. You feel that they're really like family. It feels like I've known them like my whole life. Well, this has been insane, but I wouldn't trade it. And we're high-fiving in slow motion. Feels like there is this new generation coming up. Belani is truly the heart of the show. It's the greatest day of my life. I was having so much fun and I wanted to cherish every single second of being there. He's just very fundamentally lovable. <laughs> it is just a testament of their talent. We have something special. Lightning in the bottle is the best way to describe it. Okay. Huge fans and <laughs> super excited. <laughs> I think that, um, you know, maybe now it's all kind of starting to sink in and hit us as people remind us a little bit more every day and that in itself is a really surreal experience. But yeah, it's, it's probably one of the most um, gratifying, I don't know, I'm just, I'm so grateful and I'm just, I'm just trying to enjoy it. It's finally happening. We're finally bringing Miss Marvel to the screen, first on a Disney Plus series, and then she'll be joining Carol Danvers in the next Captain Marvel movie. So it's very exciting to be able to reveal the plan that we've been working on for many years. Finally, now it's underway. I got this, right? Totally. You know, there is that giant pressure with this being a first of a lot of things. I just have so much love for the character, which is why I auditioned in the first place. I had no choice. I know my 10-year-old self would hate me if I didn't audition. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. No, I, have the, I have the mask though. But I am her. I can't even put it into words how cold this is. It's, it's very, my heart is very full. I think our show has a very universal charm in, in the way it balances fan culture and religion and coming of age and action. So I, I really do think that we have a very wide audience and Ultimately, the show is a love letter to, to the Marvel fans, so I, I hope the fandom is, is kind of comforted by Kamala as a character and, are, and they're encouraged to continue just living in fantasy land and, and exploring their passion because the Marvel fandom is such a wonderful place to be and it, it really makes you feel like you belong somewhere as cheesy as it sounds, but it's true, it's, it's comfort, right? These characters just mean the world to so many people and this show is really just encouraging and appreciating the amount of work that it takes that it takes to, to be a fan, you know, analyzing 
trailers frame by frame, breaking down posters, making theory videos, being active on all the Reddit forums, and it's, it's super important work, and it's a lot, you know, 34 projects in, so I, I'm excited for the fan reaction, and, and I think young people are definitely going to be able to, to relate to, you know, the coming of age undertone of it all, and just are, are kind of comforted by the fact that you don't have to have everything figured out at 16. You shouldn't have everything figured out at 16. You're 16. You should live your life, find passion, explore it, just, you know, hang out with friends, and life will kind of fall into place when it does. And uh, obviously we're introducing an entirely new diaspora of fans into the MCU, so I think this is going to be a really accessible entry point for, for new fans who, who never really saw themselves in a positive light before, and it could be really intimidating joining the Marvel fandom, but there is space for more people, and uh, this is a good place to start. Unfortunately, the Muslim American community haven't been represented in the most positive of lights uh, enough. So I think it's a brilliant thing that this show is being made and hopefully the culture is being shown in a way that people feel proud of. And, and you know, for all of us, it was coming from a huge place of love and approached with such, such you know, uh, passion and care by the whole team and, and everybody at the heart of it. So, you know, it means so much to us and I hope that fans kind of and, and the community look at it in the same way and, and realize that and, and feel seen. In 2022, it's really important to show female leadership, to show Muslim leadership, to show minority leadership, and she embodies all of that. And there's a lot of girls out there who are gonna look at her and go, yeah, maybe I can dream my dream too. Little girls everywhere, all it's like questioning. Boys. It's like questioning why did Malala Yousafzai come around? Why not? Why not? Yeah, for me, it's uh, particularly important because I have uh, three nieces. Mm. And, um, you know, they're like eight, six, and three. And, you know, when I was a kid, we didn't have anything like this go growing up. Uh, and um, it, really, it really made me feel like the other. And so I'm really excited for my three nieces to watch this and feel like they belong, like mm. like they are not the other, like they are normal, and and um, and I just think that's so powerful. Just to, it shouldn't be powerful to feel normal. It should be normal to feel normal. Mm. And the fact that my nieces get to live a life that we didn't get to live growing up, I think that's beautiful. The other thing being that. You know, in the in the Muslim community, the the perception is about the girls are in hijab. They're not meant to do this. They're not meant to do that. But that's not the case. It's because the Muslim community is a very beautifully diverse community. Yeah. And here in America, the way they're assimilating with uh, and contributing to society is fantastic. So, for Marvel to uh, greenlight uh, a project which kind of shows a progressive Muslim family. Uh, assimilating with the Western uh, world uh, and the way that one of their children is while holding on to uh, the family values, the uh, the uh, religious values and all that, still dreams and, you know, does things which anybody else would do and does it very well. So I think it's a fabulous thing, which is why the why not. Well, I mean, as, you know, someone who grew up in, um, in Jersey and who was is <laughs> I am still Pakistani and Muslim and um, uh, still someone who is trying to probably figure things out. I think a lot of the experiences were of me uh, navigating my multiple identities and and being sort of multi hyphenate and not understanding that that was kind of cool and great. And I um, was constantly searching and trying to find my voice. And that's really, I think, um, the, the, the guts of what the, the show is about too. Um, and bringing that in was incredibly important to us. And I think, you know, telling a story about identity is, um, something that feels kind of like therapy to me, I guess, because <laughs> we've been, I've been thinking about this for a while. So it's like, it's lovely to be able to do that, um, in such a beautiful way.